So now that we have our results, there's several things we can do. Um, again, going back to this path down at the bottom, if we wanted to go directly to the Documents folder, I can just click on that and it will open Finder and take me to the Documents folder. Um, because this has now been rewritten for Leopard, some new Leopard functions are available to us. So for instance, if I hit the spacebar, we have the Leopard Quick Look functionality. So I can just go down and hit spacebar and have a look at the contents of my files. Um, I can, if I want to, click the I button to have a look at the inspector. And the inspector opens up a whole host of different attributes that the file has. Again, I can search up and down and have a look at the attributes within the inspector. And if I don't want to hit the space bar, I can just click the icon in the top right hand corner again to have a look at Quick Look. Another new feature is the extendable columns so that you've got full control of the different columns that appear. So if I right click on a column, uh, these are the ones that are currently shown, name, content modified, kind. Uh, we have size and created as well, but if we go into more columns, which basically lists every piece of metadata that's available for the different types of files that you might have, and you can actually use any of these uh, pieces of information as new columns. Also within the results view, we've got some new capabilities of housekeeping. So if we right click on a file, we can open the selected file, uh, select which application we want to open it with, reveal it in Finder. Um, we can also do some new things as well. We can copy. So if you want to copy that particular file from its current location to somewhere else, we just select Copy Selection, and then we just get a dialog whereby we can copy it to a new folder if we want to. And again, we've also got uh, alias, so we can create an alias, or actually move the file to a new location as well. So you can actually do housekeeping directly from within How to Spot itself. And of course, we can trash the selection. And finally, with the results view, we can drag out files into the Finder, and also it has full support for copy and paste between applications. Now, if you want to build up some more advanced queries, you can do it with the actual results of, the, uh, of a simple query. And by that, I mean you can actually use, say for instance, we wanted to have a look at uh, all our pages documents. Basically, you can drag this light pages document, drag it across to content kind, and basically what that's done is to take the content type of the file we've dragged across and to populate this particular field. So now we're looking for all must be true, name contains light, and content type contain well, content type is a pages document. If I actually uh, remove the light attribute, there's all our pages documents. If I wanted to find all the pages documents, uh, say modified on the 31st of December, for instance, this one here is modified on the 31st of December. I drop that onto modified. And there we go, that populates that with the date. So there are our pages documents modified on a certain date. And then you can go in and start uh, amending that manually.